Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine the equation of a tangent line using the TI-89 graphing calculator. We'll look at two examples. In the first example, we're given f of x equals 1 fourth x squared minus 4, and we're asked to determine the equation of the tangent line at the point 2 comma negative 3. The first step is to enter the equation or the function into the calculator. To do this, we'll press diamond F1 and enter the function in Y1. So let's go ahead and clear the old fun let's go ahead and clear this old function by pressing the up arrow clear. And now we'll enter one divided by four x raised to the power of two minus four. Let's begin by graphing this using the standard window. To make sure we have the standard window, we'll press zoom, which is F2, and then six for the standard window. This sets the window to the standard window and graphs the function. Notice how this is a nice window for the given function. And now we'll find the equation of the tangent line at the point two comma negative three, which would be this point here. We'll do this under the math menu, so we'll press F5, and now we'll scroll down. Notice how on number six, there's a derivative function. We could use this to find the value of the derivative function at x equals two, which should give us the slope of the tangent line, but there's another function that will give us the equation of the tangent line all at one step. So let's keep scrolling down. We want option A, which says tangent. So we could press letter A or highlight tangent and press enter. We want to find the equation of the tangent line at x equals two. So we press two, enter. It graphs the tangent line at the point of tangency and also gives the equation of the tangent line here in the bottom left hand corner. So the equation of the tangent line is y equals one x minus five, or just y equals x minus five. Let's go ahead and write this down. And now let's look at our second example. Notice how we have a trig function, and looking at the point, we know pi over six is in radians, so we do want to make sure the calculator is in radian mode before we determine the equation of the tangent line. Looking at the bottom of the screen, this RID means we are in radian mode. If it didn't say radian here, we would press the mode key, go down to this fourth row, press the right arrow, highlight radian, press enter, and then enter again. And now let's enter g of x, so we'll press diamond F1, clear the old function, and enter two sine, which is second y, two x, close parenthesis, and now let's press graph using the standard window and then make adjustments to the window if needed. So let's go ahead and press diamond F3 for graph. This is a decent window for this function. Let's change the window so we get a better view around the point of tangency. So let's go ahead and press the window key by pressing diamond F2. Let's change the x min to negative three, enter. The x max to positive three, enter. Let's change the x scale to be pi divided by three. So second exponent divided by three, enter. Let's change the y min to negative three, enter, and the y max to positive three. So let's go ahead and press graph again. So diamond F3. Now we have a much better view of the function near the point of tangency. So again, to find the equation of the tangent line, We'll press F5 for the math menu, scroll down to the tangent option, or we could press letter A, press enter. We want to find the equation of the tangent line at pi divided by six radians. So we enter pi divided by six by pressing second, the exponent key divided by six, and enter. So notice how it graphs the tangent line at the point of tangency in the lower left hand corner it's giving us a decimal approximation for the equation of the tangent line. The calculator is giving us y equals 2x plus 0.684853. Let's go ahead and write this down, and then we'll explain why this is not exact, and the calculator is giving us this decimal approximation. So we have y equals 2x plus 0 0.684853. Looking at the equation of the tangent line, we can see the slope of the tangent line is equal to two. We also know the point of tangency is pi divided by six comma square root three. 
let's find the exact equation of the tangent line to see where this decimal approximation is coming from. Using point slope form of a line, we would have y minus square root three is equal to m, which is two, times the quantity x minus x sub one, which is pi divided by six. Let's go ahead and solve for y, so we'll distribute here and then add square root of three to both sides. So we'd have y minus the square root of three equals two x, and then we'd have minus two pi divided by six, or minus pi divided by three. And we'll add square root of three to both sides. We get y equals two x minus pi divided by three plus the square root of three. So this value here is a decimal approximation for negative pi divided by three plus square root of three. And we can verify this on the calculator we go to the home screen and press negative pi divided by three plus square root three. Notice how it's giving us the exact value because we're in exact mode. If we press diamond enter, this is where the decimal approximation for the vertical intercept is coming from. I hope you found this helpful.